everybody, this is Kevin and welcome back to another video. And today I would like to share my thoughts on the Nintendo Direct which released earlier this morning with a rare double upload from me because I gotta grift and get into the algorithm here of this video and really rile some people up. And that's exactly the goal. But yes, there was quite a few games there that I was excited for. Um, ironically enough, <laughs> those games are also releasing on the PS4, so I'm gonna pick them up on the PS4 so that I can get the trophies and the platinum. Because that is still my console of choice, despite you have people, oh, Sony censorship, which, well, not the games I play, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And I don't give a shit about the God of War, or Forspoken, or Horizon, whatever that nonsense is. So I'll be getting, I'll tell you, Rise of 3, and Tales of Symphony on the PS4 for sure. Um, but the elephant in the room is what I started this video with, this, this image here, which I found from the glorious shit posters of V. Me and the boys defending Nintendo on the internet. And these people coming out of the woodwork, the Nintendo fanboys, otherwise known as the Nintendies, are, are fucking insane. You, you have them coming out of the woodwork, still defending this Nintendo online service, which is $50 a year. And that gives you the ability to play online games with the tremendous lag. <laughs> like, you're playing Smash Brothers, right? The fighting game, it's lagging all over the place. I mean, Jesus Christ, what year are we in? We're still lagging. And, and you have the ability to rent... NES, SNES, and now N64 games, and they're going crazy, like, oh, Mario Party, Golden Eye, 007, it's like, what year are we in, bro? And yes, there is a saying, retro always wins, which in most cases it does, but, I mean, come on, dude, you're gonna pay to rent Golden Eye? Just fucking emulate that shit, I don't know what your deal is, bro, or, or Nintendo, how about you do better and bring back the virtual console? I remember on the Wii, 10 years ago, you could pay... $5 to buy an NES game digitally. Like you can buy Super Mario Brothers straight. $8, you could buy Super Metroid. $15, you could buy Ocarina of Time. Gone are those days. And, you know, I, I don't understand how the Nintendo fanboys continue to shill this digital bullshit. Because you see right now, the 3DS online store is, is going away and the Wii U online store is gone. If you want a, a Wii U game, you're going to have to spend like $300. You want Xenoblade Chronicles X? $300. So good luck with that. So if you want to keep this... Digital shit going? Fuck that. Look at all the shit behind me. Physical always wins. And the other elephant in the room is these, these fanboys going on, going goo goo gaga over the Breath of the Wild 2 sequel, which let me get the name right. It's a stupid fucking name, too. The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, Tears of the Fanboy. And yes, maybe the tears of my, my fanboy tears, because I was once a, a big Zelda fan. And I do own Breath of the Wild 1 on, on the Switch here, which I played this game for like five hours. I couldn't do it, man. Open world garbage, open world sucks. The, the thing with Zelda back in the day, which made it so cool, was you'd go to the dungeon, right? You'd get the boomerang. You could use it to, to get the heart piece across the river there. Then you go into the next dungeon, you get the bombs. You go back to the open world, right? And you see the crack in the wall. You use the bombs, get the heart piece. Then you get the hook shot. You hook shot over there to the island where the heart piece is. It, it made exploring worthwhile. You had all the cool puzzles in the dungeon with the, the items. And with this shit, the Master Sword loses its ability to, you know, be the Master Sword. You gotta recharge it. Well, what fucking bullshit. So, into the trash of that. I'm surprised, you know, I gotta, I gotta sell that game or something. But I'm just holding on to it. Because you see behind me, I hold on to everything. But anyway. Now, the positives. We have Altaria Ryza 3 coming out. And I have the first two Altaria Ryza games on the PS4. Let's see. what well, They've got crazy titles here. Altaria Ryza 1, Ever Darkness, and The Secret Hideout. And then I'll tell you Rise of 2, Lost Legends and the Secret Fairy. And then the other one, what's that one called? It is called, like I said, they got the they got the, the wacky names. It is called, oh fuck, I thought I had a tab open for it. But you get the idea. So you have I'll tell you Rise and these Nintendo fanboys still, they, they, ha they have a constant hate boner against the anime games. Like, oh, no, not the heck of anime games. Like, you saw with Xenoblade Chronicles 2. No, Mithra and Pyro, they're bouncing movies. We can't have that in Smash Brothers. Oh, my God. Fuck them. Have you guys seen what Zelda looks like these days? If that, is that not an anime game anymore? I mean, oh, my goodness. But, yes, there were some, some positives with the Nintendo Direct. Like, you had the, they started with Fire Emblem, which this Fire Emblem looks awesome. I wasn't a big fan of Three Houses because, you know, you had, like, the, this weird... A lot, of, a lot of talking and, and shit like that. I just want my tactical battles. Um, maybe I should go, because I do own that game as well. I should have broke that out to show you. You can kind of see behind me uh, with the Dragon Ball of Vizbigs. There's Switch games stacked up there. But I do have that in that stack. Um, 
maybe I got to go back and, and try that again. But this new Fire Emblem game looks pretty cool. And, you know, great voice acting there. And, and looking forward to checking that out. And that's coming out, like, in January. Like, that's a few months, man. You got Rise of 3 looking thicker than ever. And I also had to break out my Tamaki shirt from Fire Force because this really riles people up as well. You know, you can't, you can't, but not the heckin' fan service. So, if you're Nintendo fanboys, you got to take a step back. You got to calm down and just, you know, look in the mirror and, and, and say, is this Zelda? You know, are we really going to pay $50 a, a year to, to rent GoldenEye? I mean, you fuckers, you crazy. So, I am happy. I am happy for Atelier Rise. I am happy for... Tales of Symphonia. Tales of Symphonia, one of the great games on the GameCube way back when. And check out the trailer. I had a bunch of tabs I was going to show trailers, but I figured we'll just turn this into like a fucking rant video because I'm just go ranting and raving with Kevin. It's been a while since so we did one of those videos. So yeah, I, I got to get this video out there to, you know, trigger some folks. And uh, that's all I got for you. Thank you so much. Stay tuned tomorrow. I'll have my review of Persona 5 Royal. And then Thursday, they live stream with more Let's Play Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. So... Thanks, guys. Have a great day. We'll talk to you later.